Hello viewers, welcome to another life transforming edition of Open Heavens Outline on AR2 TV. My name is Dario Homlanchard and the topic we have this today is are you a lover of the light? Are you a lover of the light? Our Bible reading is taken from the book of John chapter 7 verse 1 to 7. John chapter 7 verse 1 to 7 whereas our memory verse is taken from the same book of John chapter 3 verse 19. John chapter 3 verse 19. The word of the Lord says, And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Because their deeds were evil. Let's see how the outlines look like for the day. When the devil was cast out of the heaven, he brought spiritual darkness and everything that is represents along with him to the earth. God created man to be bearer of light here on earth and was given a mandate to illuminate the whole world with his glory. In Psalms chapter 8 verse 5, the Bible says, a man was crowned with glory. So man was finished with the glory of God in order to illuminate God's glory all through the earth. Through the fall of man, the devil succeeded in putting out the light of God in man, thereby infusing him with his own darkness. According to Romans chapter 3 verse 23, it says, For man, have, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But however, those who have received Jesus Christ, the light of the world, into their lives have been delivered from this power of darkness and have been handed the keys to a kingdom far greater than that which was given to Adam according to Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. That is why I wanted to know that from today's, uh, today's memory verse reveal why mankind embraces darkness and the consequences of this choice from this from this insight the uh, unimaginable level of acrobatics carried out in this world under the cover of darkness should therefore be of no surprise to anyone that is kingdom minded jesus is the light of the world according to john chapter 3 verse 12 and he is hated by those who are under the manipulation of the power of darkness. So, you might be asking yourself this question. Why do people, why do the people of this world hate Jesus Christ? Well, the answer is not far. Jesus Christ being the light that came purposely, not only to expose darkness, but also to exterminate Exterminate, uh, but also to uh, extermination, to exterminate darkness as well. It is therefore bound for him to be hated, in as much as he's there to confront their kingdom too. So each of us must choose where we belong: the company of light or the company of darkness. But I want you to know that whatever you choose, definitely you have to be accounted for. So what is your choice today? Whichever you choose has its own reward and consequences. I implore you and encourage you to embrace Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And you will never regret making that choice and you will never in any way regret that path you've taken. So you will be forgiven and set free from every consequences of the darkness if you embrace Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. So take this decision today and your life will continue to push forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we have a word of prayer? Father, we thank you for today. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Thank you because we know, Lord, after today, we shall be bearer of light in any way we go. We will ensure that the light is manifested in our lives to the world. Thank you, Father, for this grace, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray.
Amen. Thank you viewers for staying with us till we come your way tomorrow with another interesting edition. Stay with us. God bless you.